On the 14th of April 1927, the first Volvo motor car rolled out of the factory in Gothenburg, driven by sales manager Hilding Johansson, an open-topped motor car with a two-litre engine and 28 brake horsepower. The car, nicknamed Jakob, was understandably no great sales success. It was by no means easy to start a Swedish car company and break into the Nordic market with only a cabriolet in the range. Only 300 cars were sold during the first years the car was in production. Volvo's world-famous safety image was in fact born before the first car rolled off the production line. In 1926, when one of the first nine prototypes was being driven between Stockholm and Gothenburg, the Jakob was involved in a head-on collision with an American automobile. The American car was a complete write-off, whilst the Volvo survived with only a few scratches. And a safety image was born. Towards the end of the 20s and at the beginning of the 30s, Volvo's production was somewhat modest. Inspiration came in the first instance from the USA, when skilled Swedish engineers who had worked in Detroit returned home with new technical skills and American-inspired designs. Volvo's first really big success came in 1944, when the PV444 was exhibited at the Stockholm Motor Show, held at the Royal Tennis Hall in Stockholm. The PV was also the major breakthrough for Volvo on the US market. The car was smaller than American models, but roomier inside, and had sufficient horsepower to be regarded as a family sports saloon. The PV also quickly established itself as a big favourite amongst rally drivers. It frequently occurred that competitors refused to start a race if a Volvo was in the field, it being considered a waste of both time and petrol. In 1953, Volvo presented its first estate car, the Duet, which was the prelude to Volvo's concentration on family motor cars even if this particular model was perhaps best suited for tradesmen. During the 1950s, it was primarily the Italians who set the tone in the design world. Volvo's new chief designer, Jan Vilsgaard, who was given the task of producing a new model, blended Italian inspiration with Swedish functionality, which led to Volvo's new huge success, the Amazon, or the P120, as it was called abroad. In 1955, Volvo's concentrated efforts on exports to America gained real momentum. This is Volvo, the Swedish built compact. Efforts which resulted in the USA becoming the company's largest market. In 1959, Volvo became the first motor manufacturer in the world to fit the three point seat belt as standard in a mass produced car. The inventor of the car safety belt, Niels Bolin, received many fine awards, at the same time as his invention saved millions of lives. <laughs> 